I'm making a French lentil salad today. This is made with the famous green French lentils. You definitely don't want to use the brown or the red lentils. They just don't work in the salad. If you've watched my video on my Italian lentil soup, that's where you use brown lentils. And red lentils would just totally dissolve on you. You'll need a quarter of a cup of a red onion, and I always like to take the root off first, so you'll want to peel it. Measure out about a quarter of a cup of your red onions and add more if you like. For your green lentils, measure out a cup and a half of the green lentils and three and a half cups of water. You're going to add to that one bay leaf and one or two sprigs of fresh thyme. This will make your lentils taste so great. Cook on low for about 25 minutes. I have some jarred roasted peppers here and you'll want to take them out and measure out about one cup, then chop them kind of small. They're going to be so delicious in this salad. You can now add them to the chopped onions in the bowl. You'll need one cup of crumbled feta and I like to buy the feta that's in the brine. It tastes so much better. So take pieces out, try not to put your fingers in the brine and put this back in the fridge. The lentils have cooked for 25 minutes and make sure that you taste them. You're going to see that all of the water has evaporated and they're just right. I took a bite. So take out the bay leaf and also those thyme stems. You don't want anyone eating those. I'm going to rinse the lentils now. You can see the brown residue coming out of the bottom and make sure the water comes out clear. I want to shake them out too. So I'm going to crumble my feta, getting back to that, and this is just right. Add it to the roasted peppers and the red onion. I have some Italian flat leaf parsley here, and I'm just going to grab a small bunch of it. I like to wash it in a water bath just in case it's dirty, and then I want to dry it with a paper towel. Mince your parsley really fine and add it to the bowl. I'm making the vinaigrette now, so I need one garlic clove, and I'm going to grate it because I think it works out well when you're doing a dressing. You don't have those chunks of garlic, so rasp graters are really great. And now I'm going to add red wine vinegar, and there'll be three tablespoonfuls. This dressing is so good, you can use it for almost anything. I like using a whisk to mix up my vinaigrette and I have a good Sicilian olive oil here. Just use an extra virgin olive oil and I've got a half a cup. Slowly drizzle that into the olive oil and now add about a teaspoon of kosher or sea salt and about six or seven grinds of black pepper. Mix this well. Your vinaigrette should be nicely mixed now. Toss all of the ingredients well. We're not going to put the lentils in right now and then slowly pour in that vinaigrette and mix everything very carefully. You don't want to crush this up too much. You want to keep the feta really in pieces. Now we're adding the cooled drained lentils. Also be very careful and mix everything so it's blended perfectly. And your salad is done. This is just beautiful. And now for my favorite part, the taste test. Always taste your food after you cook it, or even if it's a salad and it's cold, you just wanna make sure you've balanced out all the flavors. It might need a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It might have needed a little more olive oil or red wine vinegar, but I've made this salad so many times in the past, I think it's gonna be just right and it smells awesome. So here's a taste. Mmm. -hmm. This is just incredible. You can eat this for days if you don't have a crowd to feed and it stays great in the refrigerator. Just freshen it up the next day. Um, add a little bit of salt and pepper. It kind of pops out the flavors again. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to get to see you soon. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do. I would really love it. And give this a like because it really helps my channel.